Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we are going to cover how to add custom tooltip textures as inside a snapshot 24w36a, which is a part of the Minecraft 1.21.2 update. This is now possible. As you can see, I've done an example right here. Now, I have noticed there are some issues and I'm not sure how to fix them. I don't know if that's a bug that Minecraft have to fix or if it's something I'm doing wrong. But before we jump to that, if you want to know how to add custom armor textures and also a light trims, wolf armor trims, I did upload a video on that two days ago. So that will also be linked in the description so you can check that out. The first thing we're going to do before we jump to how to add, I want to look at the Minecraft files for the tooltip as they are stored inside textures, GUI, uh, sprites, and then the tooltip. And there are two, you have background and frame. So background, if we quickly just open this up, you can see is this. So this is the background of it. And then the frame is the part that just goes around the background. You can see it right here. They would also have MC meta files, which, okay, this is probably the scaling that I have wrong. So this is probably why I have issues because I haven't added them. So it seems like you probably need these for it to scale with the item. So now let's talk about how you can add custom textures. So like every resource pack, you need a folder with assets. You need an MC meta file, which has the pack format, which currently is 30 seven and you need a description which this description can be whatever you want it to be so we're just going to change it to add custom tool tips there we go and then we can save this now the pack format is currently 37 if you are playing in a more recent snapshot or the full release of 1.21.2 this will probably be higher. You can also have an image, but this image is optional. It is not required. Then inside of the assets folder, you need a folder which your resource pack is called. I just put it inside of the Minecraft folder because it's easier. But if your resource pack is called custom tooltips, then this would be called custom tooltips. Then inside of the Minecraft, you want a textures folder. Inside of textures, you want a GUI, sprites, tooltip, and then this is where your tooltips will be stored. The one thing we do quickly just want to do is we want to drag these MC meta files into here. So we have them and we want to rename these to be exactly what the images are. So we want to rename this one to white background and we want to rename this one to white frame. And that should now fix the issue of it not lining up with the item. Now, let me quickly just open these inside of a image document so I can edit them as we're going to add another one. So let's just make this. What color should we make it? Maybe yellow. So let's just go to color balance or maybe let's make it like a goldy color. So if I just tint it, uh, let's tint it a little bit towards that color and then let's maybe make it slightly lighter. There we go. I would say something like that is cool. It's more of an orange than a gold, but that works. And then we can save this and call it whatever we want. Now, when you name them, it has to be called whatever you want and then underscore and background. The name of the tooltip has to end if it's a background in underscore background. If it's a frame, it has to end underscore frame. If you just call this orange and then add it, it will not work. So let's now add that one. And then let's now open up the frame texture. So this is called white frame. And this is just a default. Let's adjust this to be something different. Maybe if we make it black. So let's just do that. And uh, let's darken it a little bit. There we go. And let's now save this. And once again, we want to call this orange frame because it is linked to the orange background. It'll make sense why I'm calling these the same in a second. So now you can see we have orange frame and we also have the whites. We do also now want to copy these and paste these back in and call these the orange background. So they match with the orange. So there we go. We now have orange background with a MC meta, orange frame with an MC meta. And then we have the white one, which was the example. So now this is all you need for the resource packs. Let's now save this and add this to Minecraft. So now I've added it. Let's quickly just enable it. It's the custom tooltip one. So now what we need to do, if I quickly just get this white one, you can see it's now adjusted. So it is because I didn't have the MC meta files. But how you now give yourself this is you want to give yourself an item. So let's change this to the silence armor trim. You then want a item component of tooltip style. So now let's explain what needs to go in this part because we have Minecraft and that is because inside our assets folder, it is minecraft if this was called for example custom tooltips then this name right here would have to be custom tooltips and then we have the next option as white and once again that is because if we go to textures and then the tooltips that is because white is the prefix before background and frame so now we want the orange one so i would just add orange right here and if i now grant myself this you can see it has the orange background and it's adjusted nicely because we added the MC meta files. Now, one other thing I quickly want to show you how to do is you can make these animated. As you can see, I've added an animation so it slowly goes from light to dark. 
this is really cool. You can add like a rainbow version. You can add something where you want it to maybe have an image slowly fade into the background. Now you can do this separately for the border or the frame and also for the background. Currently this one only has an animated border. But you can also make it so it only has an animated frame or it has both of them animated. Now jumping back to the resource back to make it animated there is two things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is create a texture. Now by default if we look at this background by default the texture is 100 by 100 pixels. So the width is 100 pixels and the height is 100 pixels. So to make it animated all you need to do is create a new image and the width needs to be 100 pixels but the height needs to be however many images you want to be displayed in the animation so for example if you want three like i have with this animation then that will be 300 pixels so we're going to set the image up first and let me quickly just set these to black and white so i can just add a black and white filter to them and i'm probably going to want to just restart from fresh so let's just grab this one because this one is white Let's now create a new. Once again, the width has to be 100 and this one has to be 700 as we are adding seven images. So now what I need to do is basically just copy and paste these on top of each other, making sure they line up exactly. Then the next one, we need to make sure lines up exactly on this one. So as that one ends, this one needs to start. And here we go. I now have them. They are not perfect because once again, this is just being done as an example. So the colors are not exact and they could probably be made a lot better. So now we need to save this and we're going to save this as rainbow underscore background because we want the code name to be rainbow. So the frame, I'm not going to add a new one. I'm just going to use the same frame as orange. So I'm going to copy that, make sure I remove any extra and just call it rainbow underscore frame. And now this is where the animation comes in. So what we want to do is copy the MC meta files. So we have them once again, renaming them to rainbow and also the same for the frame. We also want the MC meta for this. So let's just copy that and rename this to rainbow now whatever part you want animated so if you want the frame animated then you need to go to the mc meta for rainbow frame or whatever frame and if you want the background animated you need to go to the background now we want the background so we're going to open this up and you can see i have added an animation frame into it so what you need to do just to add this let's say this is like how it was you need to add a comma and then you just need to add animation with another bracket and then frame time now this is the amount of time between the changing of the images. So from it changing from red to yellow is a frame time of 20. Now we can make this 5 so it kind of flashes or you can make it 100 so it fades very slowly. Now we're going to have it 5 just so it flashes fairly. No, let's make it 10 just so it's not too fast but it's fast that you can see the rainbow effect. So let's now drag this back in and let's hope it runs with no errors. It, there shouldn't be no errors because it's only textures. And it has worked. So now what we need to do is once again run this command. But this time giving ourselves instead of orange. As that is what the prefix is for the frame and the background. Let's now give ourselves a different item just so it's different. Let's give ourselves the mace. The mace can have a rainbow background. And now if I hover over this you can see it's flashing between the different colors. I really do like this and this is so cool for just maps or even like servers where you want rare items to have different unique backgrounds to them. But that is how you add custom tooltips. It's very easy and there is a lot you can do with this. Now there will be a tutorial download for this in the description so you can just download it and adjust it to how you would like. And once again if you want to know how to add custom armor textures, wolf armor trims, like your armor trims make sure to check out the video in the description but anyway if you have any questions do leave them in the comments and i'll answer the best i can and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one bye